we have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's kind of a good fun one too. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass off the products and you give us a looky loo talk about. Okay. I'm coming back over here so you're good. Okay. Let Shane adjust the camera. Here's that. Okay. Give us a start there. First of all, I was telling Amy in there that she's kind of a Dollar Tree ambassador, and I know there's a lot of you Dollar Tree ambassadors out there, so we need Dollar Tree to step up a little bit and kind of, you know, help the Dollar Tree ambassadors promote the Dollar Tree experience in the form of a little cheese. A little, just a little cheese. A little cheese. Let us wet our beak a, a bit. Yeah, a bit. Okay, yeah. A bit. Yeah, I agree. So the first item that Amy freaked out over was Stacker Energy Drink. What are you doing, baby? I was trying to block the glare, but it's too big of a can. Stacker Energy Drink. Extreme Energy. She's excited about it. Well, you know why? Because at the Dollar Tree, they have those Stacker B12 shots that I, I like to get every now and then. But now they have drinks. So. Do you want to open it? Yeah, let's do a taste test. Okay. We're going to review it right now. We're going to taste it. It's not cold. It's on the shelf, so. It's not cold. Oh, you want me to do it first? This is sinful citrus. Is it weird? Do you need a chaser? No, it's not that weird. It's all right. We bought a chaser just in case. It's kind of weird. I think all energy drinks are weird. That it's just a tall. That mix. one's almost like a, like just like carbonated water, with a little. Oh, it tastes like a weird diet Seven Up. Like a weird hint of citrus, maybe. Yeah, it's better it's, than a lot of. It's not them. real sweet. Uh -uh. Um, it's, that's exactly right. It's not real sweet, and that's good. Yeah, like a lot of energy drinks are very sweet, and this one's not. Okay. While we sip on that, let's move on. So that's not, that's all right. And in case we have, we're gonna need a chaser, we just got a little six pack of geyser six water. Six packs of water. Which is good, cause you know me. The geyser water. I'm a fish. Uh, Excuse me, it already made me burp. She got a pack of Rudolph's onions, not to be confused with Funyuns. Have you guys ever had these? But these are made by Rudolph, the Rudolph Company. If you never had them and you like Funyuns, you need to go ahead and get on down to the store. We can't wait. We just like to dig in. Rudolph, get on down to the Dollar Tree and get one because they're good. The Rudolph Food Company in Lima, Ohio. Mmm. They're a little more tangy than a Funyun. They got a little more tang to them. They're good. It's kind of a cross between a Funyun and a French onion. Or like yeah. sour cream and onion chips. Sour cream and onion chips meet a Funyun. That's exactly what it is. A sour cream and onion Funyun. Here's the other thing I like about them <laughs> is Funyuns are kind of like, baby, I don't, I don't like that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I moved it from that and you moved it back. I don't like it like Here's this. the other thing I like. Funyuns are kind of like a taco. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. You know, I no like you, you take a bite into a taco and the whole thing just falls apart. Uh-huh. Funyuns are kind of like that. Like, you get a huge Funyun, and it's like, you got to bite off section. You can't put a whole Funyun in your mouth, by and large. These can. These are perfect bite size. It's like that. Mmm, those are good, aren't they? Yeah, and they're bite size. Okay, next. Good job, Rudolph. We're going to go ahead and bust those out, too. We're, we're reviewing at the same time. Sheila G's Brownie Brittle. Brittle. It all began when Sheila G, a passionate chocolate loving baker, <laughs> took a treasured family recipe for fudge brownies and baked her way into a thriving business. Wow. Thanks, Let's Sheila G. Bust open Sheila G's food. Here, baby, you try. We need first. to go get lunch and get real food. Okay, so they're little bitty. They're bite size. You gotta put it there where they can see it, lover. I mean, they're little bitty. Look how tiny they are. Chocolate chips. Pretty good. Good flavor. Oh, good job, Sheila. Is that her name? Yeah, Sheila G. Yes, they're rich. They're good. You can only eat a couple of them. They're good. Oh, and like my the, God. The little pack, 
Yeah, you can't even eat it all. There's probably 30 in there. So, good little deal there. What's that 120 on the front? Is that the calories? 120 calories per serving. Probably they, five servings in there. Let's see how many servings there are. Oh, only two servings. So, 240 calories in the whole thing. Sorry I was chewing with my mouth open. Not bad, huh? Okay, so yay on the on the um, the onions and then the chocolate brittle. Onions. Okay, the next thing we Brown got. Brittle, that's cool. Shane didn't voice an opinion on this, but um, Armor All, it is named brand Armor All Essential Blends Car Air Fresheners. I've seen everybody hauling those. And I got the eucalyptus mint, so I'll open that in a minute while he's driving. Then, here, these are viewers. The camera's right there. Trying to get the glare off of it. Mike and Ike earbuds. Don't. Let's just be honest. Dollar Tree earbuds suck. But they're horrible. These are Mike and Ike's brand, so it's kind Tracy of fun. Tracy B. Tracy loves Mike and Ike. Yeah, you love candy. Mike and Ike's. Tracy, if you don't have these at your Dollar Tree, let us know. Uh -huh. We'll pick you up a pack, a pair, a pack, a Look pair, you. a you're, pack, and we'll send and we'll send it to you because you like Mike and Ike's. Look at you sending stuff in the mail. That's awesome. Oh well. Such a giver. Huh? This is a e-circuit phone holder. This is kind of cool, actually. Oh my god, we got a bag of phone holders. Pull it out here. <laughs> and you just cute? put you put your little phone in there. Huh? Holds it. Click. And you can set it is down. Is that not adorable? They had all different colors. Shane, it, let me pick the color. It's pretty cool. I like blue. Those are a dollar. Mm -hmm. By the way. We got a couple of these. These are the little pegboards where you put the, it's got the little slats where you write little messages on there. So, it's kind of neat. We bought we bought two of them. We bought one for us and one for friends. So, they could wake up and be amazing. We'll probably use this maybe for the records like now spinning or now playing or, you know. Or kitchen's closed. Kitchen's closed. Little stupidisms. And last but not least. Last but not least, we found a book, Pretty Paper, uh, co-authored by Willie Nelson. It's a true story of Willie Nelson. It says, um, a it Christmas. Says, it says fiction. Oh, I thought it was true. Maybe it's inspired. Maybe it's by? inspired by a true story, but. Oh man. I thought that was kind of cool. She kind of read the foreword, and it sounded interesting. Yeah. So we picked it up. Yeah. We sure did. I don't read, I just look at pictures, so I don't see any pictures in here. And this Dollar Tree did not have the book by Sue Klebold. Dylan Klebold's mom, the Columbine killer, one of them. They didn't have it here. Okay, that's it. That's I it. think we're going to have to, we were going to vlog all day, but I think we're going to have to. Because with the other video and this one, we're already like 20 minutes in. So, Honey? like 20 minutes. The magic of editing. So, that's our Dollar Tree haul. Okay. And, um... Let's go get some real food. I'm, this is good, but I want some food. What do you want? I don't know. What should we eat, y'all? Do we want breakfast or lunch? Oh, it's only 9.30 in the morning. I got you out early. I feel like it's noon. Okay. 